Hey there, thanks for coming back to the BNS channel. My name's Edian and I'm doing a one year appointment follow up. Um, I had, it's been one year since my, well, it's actually been 13 months since my bariatric surgery, from my gastric bypass surgery. Um, and today I had appointments all day long. So this morning I saw my um, surgeon, Dr. Toder, and then I saw my cardiologist for an echocardiogram and then I just left my dietitian appointment and I have an appointment with my nutritionist this afternoon. Um, when we do the, well first of all, my surgical appointment was kind of a double whammy because of my surgery that I had two weeks ago. Um, all of my surgical tape was removed today, my incisions look great. Um, she said that I am a model patient made me feel really good um, she said that um, she is very happy with my results of my surgery for my bariatric surgery and she's also happy to see that I'm recovering well from my uh, emergency surgery so that went really well um, my echocardiogram I don't have the results on that yet um, they were able to get some really good images for the first time because the last time I was 115 pounds heavier um, I so I don't have much uh, from the cardiologist, but the nutrition, the dietitian, um, they do a body composition thing where they do a report on. Um, it's actually funny. There's a bus stop next to me, and so there's a bunch of people standing inside of the little cabin thing waiting for the bus. I just feel a little self-conscious. That's all. <laughs> um, so but it shows two weeks, six weeks, three months, six months, 10 months, and 13 months. Um, two weeks after surgery, uh, my bariatric weight was 219.6 pounds at that point. I started this off at 255 pounds. Um, so I had lost pre-surgery weight that you have to lose before surgery. And then I had already lost some for after the surgery. I was 236 the day of surgery. Um, so I had already lost a good 20 pounds almost two weeks after. Um, I, excess weight loss, I don't know what all this stuff is. Some of it, I don't know what it is. So it says weight loss in pounds was 16.4. Excess weight loss percent is 14%. Pounds of fat, as 109.2, meaning I had 109.2 pounds of fat on my body at that time. 49.7% body fat. Lean muscle mass was 110.4. And body water weight was 80 with a BMI of 37.57. So that was two weeks after surgery. Um, Today, my bariatric weight was 140.2. Weight loss in pounds uh, was 95.8. That's from that's from the surgical weight, like the day of surgery, um, which actually I was 249. Uh, no, 236, day of surgery. Uh, weight loss in pounds, 95.8. Oh, I already said that. Excess weight loss percent is 83. So I went from 14% to 83%. Pounds of fat, I went to from 109.2 to 42.6. So I have 42.6 pounds of fat on me today. Which I guess is pretty good. I don't know. Uh... 30.4% body fat. So I went from 50% to 30% body fat. Lean muscle mass, I went from 110.4 to 97.6. So I did lose some muscle mass. Uh, body water weight, I went from 80 to 67.8. But I've been pretty steady for the last um, three or four months. So that's good. And then my BMI is down to 24.12. So I was at a 37.57, 37.6, and now I'm a 24.1. So 
that's all good stuff. Um, I was able to get my red binder again. I had lost my red binder. I don't know where it is. I have no idea where it went. Um, so I asked her for a new one and she gave me one. Um, she also gave me some of the booklets that you get um, during the process. Um, today I graduated to the one year after weight loss surgery, high protein, high fiber. That is what our goal is every day with our eating. And so they have some tips and tricks on lifelong success and activities and some meal planning. They have some recipes in here for some great meals. Um, turkey meatloaf, light gravy recipe, light and healthy pasta salad, uh, chicken vegetable quesadillas. So they've got a bunch of good stuff in here. Turkey and rice stuffed peppers, that sounds good. Um, Triscuit Cracker Delight. They like Triscuits. I'm not a Triscuit person. I prefer Wheat Thins. Oh, I can't go anywhere. The bus is behind me. So I guess I'll just keep talking. Homemade and healthy hamburger helper. Ooh. So, um, and some of the things that are in here, like I have not had pasta in over a year. And like that pasta salad actually has regular pasta in it. And... I don't know. I don't know that that's something that I want to venture down because I know that it's a, um, this word that I've been using lately, kryptonite. It's my kryptonite. It used to be my kryptonite, like cake, whoopie pies, pasta. Those were my go-tos. Um, so I just, I don't want to, um, I don't want to introduce it if I think it's going to reintroduce something that's not good for me you know what I mean so but I just wanted to update you guys with that information it was a great day it's been raining but it was a great day good appointments um, anxious to hear what my echocardiogram comes back as it's my yearly one um, I do have an insufficient valve and a myortic valve insufficiency aortic valve and mayortic I think is what it's called there's two I have two valves that are not working properly and then my AFib has been at bay now for over a year, uh, since last September, since last September. So that's done. Yay. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.